Hi everybody, February 28, 2019. You know, going through my YouTube feed, which I hardly do anymore, um, I I wouldn't even known that this is taking place out in California. Uh, and you know, years ago, so many people on YouTube were on it, posting on what was happening with the weather the weather warfare. And I don't see that anymore. I don't know if it's just my uh, YouTube feed or are people posting on what is taking place. All I see, Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen testifying all of the all of the staged drama going on in Washington DC, which I am just so unbelievably sick of. But this is what is taking place in Northern California. This was posted today. The same storm that is now here brought massive flooding in Sonoma County. More than 2,000 homes, businesses, and buildings have been destroyed. The Russian River is overflowing and still rising. A resort town 75 miles north of San Francisco in wine country is just one of the communities now in trouble. The south side of the river is expected to crest 14 feet above flood stage, and that is the biggest flood in 22 years there. One man walked more than a quarter of a mile to make sure that everyone he knew was okay. How far did you have to walk to get to your boss's house? That's the gas station. And he's okay? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, so are you going to go back to check out him yeah. again? I'm going to get my kayak. Governor Newsom has called for a state of emergency. Another state of emergency. Another one. Well, let's listen to this report. The Russian River is overflowing, forcing thousands from their homes in Northern California, and it is still on the rise. Floodwaters carried away cars in the resort town of Guerneville, north of San Francisco. Hundreds of people remain trapped, while National Guard trucks are taking others to safety. Our Meg Oliver is in Forceville, California, in an area cut off by the flooding. We've been trapped here since yesterday and will be stuck until the roads reopen, which could be later today. The Russian River crested last night at 45 feet, 13 feet above flood stage. The river has risen so high, we won't know the extent of the damage here until floodwaters recede. The only way in and out of Guerneville is by kayak or canoe. The small town was inundated after the Russian River overflowed its banks. Floodwaters surrounded homes, submerged cars, and trapped anyone who didn't leave. We normally park right here. This is where you park? Yeah, there's, it's, it's a road. Laura DuPlessis' house is raised, but her basement and yard are completely underwater. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, no. More than two dozen towns along a 25-mile stretch of the river were evacuated. Along with Guerneville, Monte Rio is also essentially an island, and nearly 100 roads in Sonoma County are closed. An area weather station recorded more than 20 inches of rain over the past three days. We're safe. In Guerneville, at least 2,000 people are stranded. The water came up to the roof of this RV, forcing crews to reach this man by boat. One of at least 40 rescues in Sonoma County on Wednesday. Never have I seen it like this. Um, it's, it's, it's scary. But emergency crews are prioritizing people who are in immediate danger. We're not going to be rescuing people unless there's an imminent life safety threat. So people are just going to have to be patient. Rachel Vasquez didn't think the floodwaters would reach her home. Now she's waiting out the disaster with her four kids. Do you have enough supplies? Um, I think we're, you know, hopefully going to be okay. You can see where the water reached on this fence. It is going down. Sonoma County has urged California's governor to declare a state of emergency as the water continues to recede because more rain is expected here later this week. Vlad and Anne Marie. Yeah. All right, Meg. More rain later this week. Northern California. Sonoma County. Fires or floods? Too bad people won't do the research on weather modification, geoengineering, weather being used as a weapon. Too bad, because this is just going to continue and continue and continue. Oh my God, it's. We are living a friggin' nightmare. So, governor declares state of emergency. Yep, National Guard there. And thousands of homes, businesses flooded as water levels on Russian River in California begin to recede. 
Storm coming this weekend. The next Pacific storm. Aimed at California. So get ready for more, guys. You guys in California. Unbelievable what we are living. Unbelievable. And where are people? Are, po are people posting on how many people are having to suffer the consequences of this war that we are in? Do you see people posting on this? Or is are the YouTube feeds just absolutely horrible now? My God, seven years ago, eight, uh, six, five, four years ago, I'd go through that YouTube feed. I would see the videos that those that I subscribe to had just posted, you know, not the ones they posted two years ago. Um, and I would go through and I would see so many posting on, on what was happening and how many people were suffering the consequences of this weather war. Well, I'm very sorry for all of those who are in Sonoma County, Guerneville, and Monterio. But you know what? It's kind of like that bittersweet thing, though it's not bittersweet. It's, I feel really like I can imagine, I can put myself in the shoes of those whose homes now have been destroyed by flooding, just like those who have in 24 hours, realized their home was literally dust. But at this point, with so so much that is so obvious, it's obvious just with the naked eye, if you look up from that cell phone, you will see something very unusual happening in your sky. And that should prompt any adult who is a responsible adult to do research on what is taking place. You know, people are dying and people are losing everything. Um, I, you know, 20 inches in a couple of days and rivers overflowing, creeks overflowing. It's not just California, but California, uh, you're getting hit repeatedly, and Californians really, those of you who just refuse to listen to those in your life about the reality that we are living, the truth of what we are living, and you continue to ignore, ignore them. Well, get ready for when your home is gone. Get ready for you losing everything, because this is not going to stop. All links are below.